You look like my dad now. Hey, thanks. Only because only because <laughs> of the All right, we're we live. Beautiful. Welcome, everybody, to the Comedy Cellar Nightly Show. My name is Andrew Fiore. I am joined by what a group, what a cast here. A couple of Gentiles and a couple of real Jews we got. This is fantastic. <laughs> I am joined by the effervescent Rastafarian, Mr. Mark Coco Cohen. Welcome, oh, Good Marcus. morning. <laughs> Indeed. And below you, Gary Veter is here. I am. I am below him. <laughs> not on my screen but social and above, yeah, you, yeah. above all of us he's a tall boy and he's a sweet funny man jp mcdade is here everybody oh shabbat shalom everybody uh, <laughs> wait a minute uh, jp you're yeah. in astoria queens correct that's right where things are famously fine yeah things are yeah are, are, nothing's going on here at all i'm in astoria great. Too. home and people are content with everything going on in the world <laughs> have, have you been uh, going outside have you have you been exploring at all I've, I've been going outside, just not past like a three block radius. Like I'll go, I'll go to the park I'll go to the bodega. That's about it. Then it's just cowering right. in fear the rest of the time. <laughs> Esty's here, everybody. Esty Adaram. Hi, hey. Esty. Hey, Esty. Hi, Mark. Hi, Estela. How are you? Good, good. I'm going to put on my glasses for you, for the other guys I don't really care about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Liz Furiati has joined us. Oh. Hi, Liz. Hey. Good, nice to you, talk to you too. She looks Liz, confused. Where are you? Are you there back? She is. I'll answer for Liz. Liz is in Florida right now. She's been jet setting all over this country. I don't think she's taking quite good care of herself. <laughs> yeah. She's in New York. She's in California. She's in Florida. She's traveling oh. more in the quarantine than she did pre quarantine. Yeah. yeah, she was in uh, California last week or, yeah, like a week yeah. ago. That's she crazy. only goes uh, to epicenters, though. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, are you back in Queens as well? Yeah, yeah, I'm back in Queens. I'm in a story too, so I'm like, I mean, we're not going to see each other, but we're here. <laughs> we're you, me, here. and JP, we can hang out. Yeah, I saw yeah, Joe List the well. other day. We went out for a walk, but yeah, we could go for a walk. I mean, things are fine. I mean, if JP doesn't want to go, you know, more than three blocks, it's fine. But you know, I went. I yeah, walked I'm, like, I'm real uh, busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I walked yeah. a little bit with Joe List the other day, so it was. It was oh, that's good. nice. And uh, is, is Mark, is I don't know if you know up? this. Are things opening up in over there or no? I mean, some things are open. I mean, like it's, it's not really I mean, closed. Yeah, nothing oh, really? was ever closed. I mean, like you're not going to like a bar, but things are uh, you know <laughs> happening outside. People you get a bagel. Bars are opening yeah. up here now. And where I'm oh, in yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we have you loud and clear now, Liz. You you can hear me. I had to relaunch. I'm sorry. Oh, there's our little Florida sunshine. Hi. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Hi, Coco. Uh, what's up, you, 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 you? I haven't seen you in forever. I like your little. Did you make that hat that you're wearing? No, I bought it. Of course, oh, I. Oh come bought it. on! I have, to, I have to cover up my bald spot. Please. Now, Mark, what's are you in on? Vegas or are you in LA? I'm in Las Vegas. And what's it like out there? Because they're trying to reopen a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. People are people are definitely going out. It's 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 gotten crazy in the last couple of days as far as like people just out doing stuff. And now that they're you know, now they're rioting in the in the strip too down there. Are they really? They were last night a little bit. Actually, it looks like just the police are rioting and the other people are just getting pushed around. So is Vegas? I mean, they're they're slowly starting to open. You can go out and things are open. And yeah, next I believe on the fourth of next week the casinos are open. Yeah, I saw that. But Caesars is only opening, they have what, eight or nine properties? They're starting with Caesars Palace and the Flamingo. Well, then, yeah, but yesterday they announced because of uh, people are wanting to come here, they're opening up Harris too, I believe. Are they really? And the Link Promenade. Ooh, the Not promenade. Vegas without the Link Promenade. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I don't know if you know this, uh, Gary's wife is due with their first child in about a week, right, Gary? Yeah, Mark's our, our doctor. He knows that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's doing a few days. In Is a that few days? days? Well, so, well, sort of. I don't know. It, it could happen any moment. She could tell me right now that she's having, uh, you know, contractions. Gary. You fell on hard times, and now Mark Cohen is your you doctor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what it's it is? Health insurance. <laughs> yeah, I know. So hard times are everywhere. I oh, like yeah. You, you say doctor in a wonderful way. Yeah, doctor. 
(laughs) (laughs) With Mark above Gary. Gary, does it kind of look like you're uh, seeing into your future there almost? Oh, Oh, my God. It's it's kind of sad. (laughs) Gary and I both have those heads. If you turn us upside down, we still have faces. So JP, you're, you're, a, you're a big golfer, right? I am. Cool. Yeah. Have, they've, they've been opening up. Right? They've been, they've been, that's a pretty isolated thing you can do. Have you been out on the links? I have not, but it's like the only sport left. So now like everyone else, all other sports fans have to be as big of a nerd as I am just to watch something on TV and just like enjoy boring golf. And now suddenly I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and let's they have not UFC. go too far, but sure. They have fighting too. UFC yeah. too. Yeah. That's yeah, they got UFC. Right now, yeah. And JP, hockey, are you Gary, still is making a city? push to come back at the end of uh, August maybe. Yeah, um, Liz, I'm in, I'm in Astoria with these boys. Ah, yeah. you're part of the commune. I, I am. get it. Good I'm on commune. campus. Mm-hmm. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Apparently, but Astoria Park is, was. Uh... Are you in Florida now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I relocated know, yet again. My family took the seller private jet. You know the Cohens? Yeah, the Cohens yeah. here in South Florida. Let me look them up. I'm sure there's only one in the phone book, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find them for you. They're over by Marlago. Oh, ole. <laughs> but so yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm in Florida now. I I took. I did two and a half weeks in Sacramento and now I'm here. So I don't know. I don't know. Is here, it, but just, it's crazy. It, what, what's it like flying? Um, flying. Yeah. Number one, every, <laughs> every flight I've been on has been full, sold out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Wow. Like, what airline? I mean, you, uh, Delta. The, the middle seats are, are empty, oh. but every single seat otherwise people are flying standby because there's so few flights everything's going through you know a hub either salt i flew from california i flew sacramento atlanta atlanta fort lauderdale because there's no flight there was no flights into miami so i flew to fort lauderdale but this is the only one earning miles during a quarantine (laughs) 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 but it's like atlanta it's I thought Salt Lake was zero fucks given. Atlanta, it's number one, the airport is packed. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah. the nobody, you know, people on my on my flight from Sacramento to Atlanta, the chick in front of me was just like had her mask connected to her hoop earrings. She could have given a shit. How do you like, wear your mask? I, I, I wear my mask. Like I'm, you know, I'm pretty Do they they don't make would they that. make you wear do they make yeah, yeah. you they make um, worst. You're supposed to in New York, the minute you walk in the terminal, you need to have a mask on. Uh, maybe they should stop calling it terminals. <laughs> <laughs> That's our cocoa. But uh, yes. like Delta, you have to when you board the plane on the plane, and when you get off the plane, you're supposed to wear your mask the whole time. And yeah, some okay. people were cool with that, and other people were, you know. But like you walk on the plane, they give you a little purell wipe so you could wipe everything down and then nice. you know they you you don't get like there's no food or snacks or anything they give you like a ziploc bag that has one of those tiny little bottles of water some cheez it's and the biscoff cookies and that's it oh the best cookie in the world they are really I good they the are, they're, yeah they're, they're really good <laughs> yeah. they're really florida, good. how are the numbers in florida um i, I just i was just out now I went with Emilio. We had to pick up some <laughs> pizza with Emilio, and we date. went through. Where I'm in, I'm downtown in by Brickle, and Emilio is her, her father. He's my father. Yeah. We, oh. we have. So we um, we went to pick up the pizza, and it's like the the streets, the restaurants are packed. Like they're wow. crowded. You can eat. You can dine in. Um, you huh? can't. It's huh? it's crazy. Huh? How can but we track all the pizza? Because they are there? open so quickly that the numbers are up there. Yeah. It has it's remained steady in in South Florida in Dade County since they started opening. But I think as of Monday, Tuesday, you'll be able to go to the beach. They're reopening hotels, things like that. Really? Wow. Yeah. And I think people are going to get nervous and try to squeeze it in in the next two weeks because it's going to, you know, if they're afraid it's going to explode again. It's yeah. weird. It's I mean. Shit's just like you do need to wear a mask. 
you know, when you go shopping, the supermarket, things like that, but walking down the street, I mean, I took, I took Gizmo for a walk and, you know, every restaurant is just, it's full and people are out and about. It's crazy. Yeah. Are the, you, are the stores open over there? Yes. The yeah. You can go shopping. You can go oh. into a store and go shopping. We met a friend for coffee at this outdoor mall and you can, you know, Nordstrom was open and Oh, my favorite. They uh, show, is it? Is I, it? I don't remember. It is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> um, they show, and I can't remember the city that they opened TJ Maxx and there was a three mile long line to get in. What? So That's all the other TJ Maxx said they are not going to open. It was, um, everything's pretty much open and everything that's not open, they all have signs that say they're going to open within the next few days. And they're all at like 20, you know, 20% or 50%. Where, restaurants, you know, you know. restaurants are 50% here. Um, retail, they, like I had to pick up something at Target for my dog and they, they'll they click you in. But I mean, it looked you, like a what regular- What did you have to buy at Target for your dog? Uh, greenies, <laughs> those, you know, those breath shoes. greenies, yeah. the green that's shoes, they're like, like breath, breath look, freshener yeah. shoes. Oh, put it down. Oh my God. Thanks, Coco. I needed some greenies. I love greenies. Right again. <laughs> cool. you but so yeah, sweet. you know. It's so been, so uh, nice. Vegas, uh, Vegas also has a restriction as far as people are going into the casinos, right? Well, they didn't open yet, but they're, you know, they're supposed to have, you know, they're, they're building the, the, the plastic things in between the machines. And I hope they open up the shows, obviously. <laughs> Pretty Yeah. <cool. laughs> yeah. You know, have you, you haven't been anywhere, Coco? That, that, I'm sorry. Have you been anywhere, Coco? Have you gone to any of the casino, like any, you know, anyone to get you in? And I'm to the Rio. Or? No, I, uh, no, you know, the, the thing about the Rio is I, you know, obviously the big thing at the Rio besides the seller is the World Series of Poker. So That's I'm coming. Right. You're right now. I'm trying to keep an eye on that. I heard it's coming back to the Rio in the fall, I read. Yeah, I read that. So also, Kiss already... Mini Golf. <laughs> yeah. I'm mainly Chip concerned about we're double double booking aren't you Liz? And, uh, yeah <laughs> Chip and and Comedy Cellar. we're getting veter to do both he's gonna do a yeah, guest yeah. spot at chip and dales and then he's That's gonna right. come back and oh, and do a spot double the, double the disappointment <laughs> 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 gary i like your close shave quarantine look uh, i really thanks. do every uh every week and a half i've been shaving it so it does. You do look right a lot different. I'm trying to look like the baby almost. So, <laughs> work. Can you Are imagine you... your baby coming out with the beard? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's possible. Ouch! It's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah. Oh <my> <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh Lord! So have when's the baby material coming? Yeah, I, I mean, if I've been writing, if, You know. This... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, yeah, are you nervous at all? Back. Um, no, I mean, I've had so much time just to think, you know, oh, that God. it's like, yeah, exactly. Well, that's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. So you're just, but you're just sitting in your, you know, sitting in your own thoughts isn't necessarily good, but you know, there's a lot of time where it's like, I would have been probably running around at least maybe I would have stopped doing spots like a week or two before, but now you're just kind of like in it and you're, you know, you're home and it's like, we're having good quality time. So that's good. And then how uh, does that work when you have a, that you can just go to the hospital whenever she is due or do they come to the house now or what? Yeah, they, uh, well, they changed it. So like initially I wasn't even be able to go to the hospital, but now you're allowed to like, I could go and I could stay over. And uh, so she, I will be there like for a day whenever it happens. But it well, you weren't happen. even at the conception. Hey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm so trying to, I'm so, hey. yeah, I'm still trying to get the details on that. To you have to show her a seat. Went. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. yeah. For your work. Oh my yeah. I just want my wife to like come in and like in another square and then she'll, you know, she'll chime in. <laughs> we can do that. What really happened. But yeah. We could work that uh, out. Yeah. If you really <laughs> wanted to. Nah, no. <laughs> I, I, I remember when I had my baby though, the, the first six months was like, I was amazed because the baby wouldn't move. So you could just put it on the floor. Yeah. It's like walk away. But as soon as they start moving, you're in trouble. 
Yeah. That's, yeah. that's your parenting advice? That's my parenting advice. <laughs> that's your parenting advice. <laughs> when it starts <laughs> moving? Leave it on the floor. Yeah. Come back in six <laughs> months, and then you have to start worrying. <laughs> when it starts moving, worry. <laughs> You have to move the bond to the other room once it starts moving. <laughs> oh, the drama. <laughs> the it's a drama. drama. <laughs> Are you able to get weed in Vegas still? Are drug dealers still uh legal? No, well, yeah, dude. Is business drug, good? Yeah, it's legal. It's, it's legal, legal, right? Yeah, it's legal. Yeah. But I, I actually I actually buy from non-legal sources because it's so much cheaper. From where? You know, just like the illegal the ones, SD. But from dealers. You know, the last time I went to Vegas, the cab driver. Ask me if I want to stop at the dispensary on my <laughs> hotel. I swear to God. So how much did you buy? He read the room. He <laughs> recognize his clients. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Esty, Coco, Esty got caught with a pound and a half of Kush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the OG. Even what with do you a want? prescription, it's cheaper just to buy it, you know, from uh, whatever. With a prescription, it might be a little cheaper, but yeah, it's definitely cheaper to buy. And these guys sell to the to the to the dispensaries anyway, you know. If you get a marijuana prostitution two for one, it's a better value. So That's right. yeah. yeah, and you're you know keeping people that need money in business. Good for you. That's why you're you're a hero. You're a hero, I'm, Coco. I'm gonna have to start smoking more just to help people. You should. So where do they have you ha got any word about Rio or like them opening Rio or like what phase that would be in? Nothing like that. Well, don't tell Liz and Esty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what? There's a new it's name. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I I haven't heard, but I I have a you know if it looks the way it's going here in Vegas, I haven't really talked to obviously Liz or Esty or no, but it seems like it's going to happen sooner than later. Although yeah. that's you know optimistic, but the way people are moving is just crazy, you know. Yeah, but do they have? Uh, I I can see them opening, but the question is, how? What are going to be the rules about the Orient? Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you're gonna have to probably have no a, table of six, a table of six and then an empty table. Oh, there's table. never laughing. What happened? Hey. What? Twenty-five percent laughter. <laughs> we got too many. We got too many audience members. Send Cohen out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is going to be the telling uh, story. If they say only twenty five percent of capacity, I think it's going to be. Gonna be you, guys, you guys could do fifty. That's like my draw on the road anyway. So I would imagine, yeah. right, Esty? Yeah, what? we could. We could do fifty percent. Yeah. Successfully, successfully. I mean, it would just. Yeah. It would in that room. It would just take. It would just take very like aggressive and and specific. And maybe, yeah, but, but the problem yeah. is that the shows are expensive. We yeah. send yeah. people and yeah. the flight and the, you know, yeah. it's not like in New York. Yeah. And right. so if you don't have the, the. I mean, it, it would depend on demand. If I'm we a, could. I'm also we, assuming it would be locally comedians more at first. Yeah, yeah, if we get the locals, it's different, but. Or people that want to drive from LA or, you know. Right. There's a lot, like and, a, and people will be hungry to work, I imagine. People, I mean, people are working, itching. man. Yeah, Gary's, Gary's going to want to get out of Some people are really afraid. Yeah, yeah. Some comics are still very afraid. I don't blame them. They're but afraid. I think, I, I, think afraid I would be fine with it. How oh. it develops, you know? I think they're... People that I've spoken to are... are Some people are like, you know, because they have dates that are on the books this in June. And I'm like, are you yeah. going to keep the dates? And they're like, eh, I'm probably going to cancel June, but I'm out in July. So that's four weeks. That's four weekends. Yeah, but people are people are out now. I mean, people are going to be on the road. Yeah. I mean, are, anybody, are there clubs opening that anybody knows about? Jeff oh, Dye did a uh, Utah clubs. a couple yeah, weeks ago. Jeff did and Robert is doing this weekend. Yeah. Robert's Where? Doing next, Robert. Robert is in Port Charlotte next weekend. Um, Carlos Mencia is in Miami tonight in Doral. Uh, what like the, the what's like the seating? The what's the seating open? there, though? What's like it's, the I mean, the there? room in Doral seats. Whose material is he stealing there? Oh, <laughs> Fiori! That's you know, on you. <laughs> I'm sure he's not watching. <laughs> you know, the, the, the seller in Vegas. Um, the seller in <laughs> Vegas 
<laughs> is set up actually to be half empty. Yeah. In a good way. I mean, it you would know, work. It would work. Yeah. You yeah. Can and, do it. and it's just the laughs really come at you in that room. Yeah. It's such a great room. Yeah. yeah. It's just, good, you know, we have host. to change. Great host. The, uh, We'd have to change that. Rocky Dale Davis is a great host. You guys are right. <laughs> take it off. Take it off. Take it off, Coco. She means the Rastafari hat. Please take that hat off. We'd, just, we'd have to change the seating. You know, it would be, it would, I don't know. We'll, we'll, what about, what about the McDougal Street location? What would, would that seating have to change um, at all? Because yeah, I think yeah, people yeah. would come back immediately. I really well, do. New York, I, I do New too. York's in phase one right now. So, I mean, we're, it will be in June, like June 8th. June 8th. Right. And, then, and stand and then, up is phase three, right? Three or four. Oh, right. four. Four. I, that... went on, I went on the website today. I went on uh, the oh, look state. At you. I'm, you know, I, sometimes I'm proactive. And <laughs> the, the, um, there's guidance for phase one, phase two, phase three and four. They're like, Meh, I don't know yet. We'll figure it yeah. out when we get there. You know, like, it seems to be for comedy clubs, if, if there's going to be an audience, they'll open. If there's not, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. yeah. People are going to come weird. who are going to perform. So. But I mean, yeah. I've been thinking about sort of how to, especially in the McDougal room, how to sort of take tables away and take chairs away and still make it feel full that's a, and that's a tough, you know, it's so intimate, but also airy. Because we yeah. did it, you know, we did it um, the last before, night, right? yeah. But that last Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we were at fifty percent. So but, what? That's like sixty people or something, seventy people. Um, actually, it's in in the underground. Depending, it's about ninety 100. people. Right. About okay. ninety people in the underground. About eighty. In, oh. because it's by occupancy by like legal occupancy 80 in the cellar the lounge yeah. i think is about 36 37 so it's you know it's about taking tables out and spacing things out and making things you know and we we could do that we're good at seating so it still feels intimate but there's it's spread out so it, it, we'll see it's just like you know obviously the cellar in new york and even the cellar in vegas the audience being two feet away, yeah, it's wonderful yeah, for me yeah. anyway. You yeah, know, so you don't that's... have to take the the front row. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. like every other table in the front because there's yeah. still if the comedian is at the back wall, you know, then there's there's still enough room. So I, I think maybe th every other table or I don't know. I was thinking about this the other day. I my peas pop. I I get droplets coming out sometimes too. Well, <laughs> you need to wear a face guard. <laughs> Like if, just if, get Andy, one. if Andy is on the bill, we need Gallagher style ponchos for all of the <laughs> yeah. audience. Just Gotta tarps. Yeah, and um, yeah umbrella. Too. But yeah. you do it like this. <laughs> yeah, I get a real Yiddish thing going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But if it's, anyone calls, would you guys would you guys all go on the road tomorrow? If someone was like, hey, you want to go? Yes. To Absolutely. Yeah. Texas. Or yeah. Yeah. I got to get out of here. I'm itching. Why? You might have something in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> we might have a Vitor Fiore birthday mashup. Gary, oh, Gary's yeah. baby's due on my birthday. I Whoa. think the 5th, right? Oh, oh, yeah. June 6th. Oh, I'm the 5th. But all right, induce oh. early. It could happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll make it happen. It'd be great. Work Mark, make it happen. <laughs> Come on, Dr. Coco. Coco, okay, have you ever played a, uh, a doctor on TV? Yeah. And uh, what's that show? <laughs> How I you Met are. Your Mother, I Was a Doctor. I thought you had uh, something like that in your extensive <laughs> acting. That's career. right. I forgot to go. But you're, what, are you best known for that, the, the thing on Friends? The Mattress King. what it is? The, the Mattress, mattress King. King. <laughs> I'm amazed that, I, that people still do. I had somebody come up to me after the show in Vegas and she was like crying. <laughs> I go, you why are you making fun of me? She and she she goes, No, I'm not. She had like friends tattoos, you know. <laughs> wow. Um, She's like, Do you know Marcel? <laughs> <laughs> no way that monkey's no, alive today. I was a stunt up. <laughs> <laughs> My little sister actually walked by the cellar today. She said it looked so lonely with nobody there. She said it looked so crazy. Well, actually, the they had a huge protest today in the Washington Square Park. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. So lonely at all. It was crazy. 
with burning cars and broken windows and ah, oh, today unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. It's it doesn't look like it's getting any better. No, no, it's a no. Little, yeah, yeah. What I don't understand, what is the protest against CNN? Because today they they charge the the CNN studios in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. That was, yeah. Well, it's because I guess you know they're the enemy of the people, enemy of the state now. Well, the right. the tweet that I saw, the the report was that uh, a CNN reporter was playing sounds of fake gunshots during the uh, during the protest, yeah. seeming to incite like violence. But I don't know if that was true. But, yes, but they're known for doing that the too. They're known for staging things. I They've saw that. Today, one of, that the, of the CNN reporters was arrested with right, his crew. So the, yeah, but that was, just, that was so, just that today, was just and today I just and saw the, the news that the huge protest protest on uh, in Atlanta, and I yeah, can't I think, really get to to hear why. They just really don't like Don Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Don Lemon. <laughs> you know, I, I would protest Don Lemon too, a hundred percent. I love. Uh, I'm a Chris Cuomo fan myself. You know, I know. I know. Oh. Chris Cuomo, well, and honestly, it's Harry. Harry Enten is my favorite person that works at CNN and on CNN. I will say that everyone, Harry's the best. But you know, that's because I love Harry. But then after that, who is your favorite? Harry. Harry Enten. Yeah, How could you know? On at all, lady. He's he's at home. He's he, I don't think he's no. in an apartment on the Upper West Side in uh in three months. I don't he's even know who that home. is. Harry, he does, he's a statistician and he does a lot of polling. He's like a polling guy. And he does uh, a oh, lot he's of like the, uh, the counterpart to that guy with the screen. They've yes. got like the different the maps. He's like, he's, Kornacki, like, yeah. he's like the, M, uh, the MSNBC, he's the CNN Kornacki, who's actually friends with Harry and is very cool. And, but yeah, it, it, Harry it, is, uh, he's fun. It seems, Esty, also, it seems like there's a lot of instigators that aren't really there for the right yes. reason. Doing they stuff. are not even from the from the city. They go from city to city. That's what happened in Minneapolis. Most of the people yeah. who got arrested were from out of state. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. but it, they just go. That's their job, and they instigate the whole thing. Yeah, and then they blame it on the other side. <laughs> Quiet, Liz. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How's the Gizmo Sorry. doing? Does he enjoy? Yes. Oh, Gizmo, he's uh, he's loving it, man. He's like, he loves to travel. He had a great time at my <clears throat> sister's house with the other dogs. And now he's here with Marion and Emilio. So he's, you know, he's very happy. He's oh. always in the cabin with you too, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like right under the seat. I think tomorrow we might go to the beach. You don't put him in the overhead? I, if he was smaller, I would, but he's a fat. That, JP, have you seen the size fat. of that thing? It's the biggest pug I've ever seen in my he's, life. Hold it's on, the biggest, you. Hold on. Hold on. Bigger than Gary Veter. Show me his dog. Hold on. It's more of a Gary Goldman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gary Pugman. Yeah. I'll show myself out, Mark. Do you oh, that's a big pug. Look at that thing. Do you buy a yeah. ticket for Gizmo? I can't um, see. No, he oh. doesn't. He doesn't need a ticket. He it's just the size of a pony <laughs> he sits on the floor with me. Like he sits under the seat. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, the floor with you. you. They're letting you do that? Yes, yes, they He's do. a tank. You got to put is. him on that he's, scale. No, look at that. He's a Volvo. He's, he's, Jesus. <laughs> he's 30 pounds, is, man. Is he certified as a, as a service yes. dog? Oh, yes. that's I need I need all the, the help I can get. So <laughs> yeah. that's what he's That's my thing. That's yeah. what he's here for. But all right, it's, a, get down. it's a cute boy. Get down. Get, yeah. He's good. A good he's, boy. he's good. He's very good. And he's chill. Like he doesn't care. He just, you know, he's Go happy to. Flow. Do you yeah. have a dog, Gary? Yeah, I got two. Ernie and Marty. So that's gonna be wild with the the, the, the baby too. <laughs> Ernie and Marty. Yeah. <laughs> Harry oh. named his dogs after a, a comedy writer's room. <laughs> 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 Are you but ready? Yeah, we got how are you gonna? Uh, like, I mean, you work with dogs all the time. Like, are you ready to? Yeah, my them? dogs are actually they're they're crazy though. We didn't. I mean, they're trained enough, but they're just like they're terrible on the leash and whatnot. But we're gonna bring up like when we bring the baby in, we're gonna like my wife's gonna go in first, and then so the dogs could like say hi to her. Then I'm gonna go in, and then we're gonna bring the baby in. 
Somebody will be with the baby in the hall. Yeah, leave, you know what? leave the baby alone. Yeah. Yeah. You should introduce said, if the baby doesn't move, yeah. you're fine. So you're yeah, yeah, exactly. you probably introduce him outside the house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, Gary, you don't. Now you don't you know. Uh, it's a you don't know the sex yet, right? The gender. No, it's a boy. We're having a boy. Oh, okay. So it's a boy. Yeah. No sneak What's preview it? on the names. Yeah, that names. Name. So, uh, we're, we're just one. We we're going with Sullivan. Ooh, I like yeah. that. Sully. Sully. Well, Sully. Sullivan. The dogs yeah. get the Jewish names. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could. We, they're all interchangeable though. So if one. Gary, this isn't the best that, time to have a baby Sully. that's a cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sullivan, come yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> My dog just came over and farted. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> We're not there, Mark. You don't have to blame it on the dog. This is a very dog friendly group we have right here. JP, do you have any pets? No dogs. I, I'm not. I'm barely responsible enough to take care of myself. Hey, hey. The dogs. JP, Not who yet. are you? Are you by yourself in Astoria in the commune or are you have someone you live with someone or what's up? How are you I live in I actually live in like Joe List's old apartment. Like oh, yeah. uh, I live so in an apartment Sarah with a few comes over, like or okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> it's like it's one of those places where like comics have lived here for the last yeah. 15 years. It's been a rotating and cast. It's a commune, yeah. Yeah, it's very <laughs> much a commune. Yeah. We're so off who, the grid. Who are your roommates? Anyone we know other than you know? I got Chris Scopo next door. Scopo's uh, next door? He, he's not here right now, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, Scopo's I, probably on Long Island with his parents, that asshole. I can... <laughs> oh, relax, I think he's been, will you? I, I, haven't, I haven't seen Scopo in forever. I love Scopo. Liz, Liz I, think he's, I think he's sneaking around with a girl because he's been showering lately. What oh, a snooze. Oh, what a dirty whore. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. That's just speculation. Great. Oh, I'm gonna text him right now. So, all right, Scopo, who else is by you? Like, how many how many roommates do you have? I got three roommates. I got Jay, who's like the man of the house. He's been here the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then we got a, a younger comic named James who just moved in. But we got in the neighborhood, it's like every comic who's ever existed. We got like yeah. these guys, Joe and Sarah, yeah. and uh, like Anthony DeVito and anyone you can name. Stone Soder. and Fish yeah. and yeah. Well, Soder. I, I, Fish is having I, a baby soon too. Yeah. 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 July. And so is his On wife. purpose. Oh, <laughs> wow. I text Soder just got a dog. I was texting with Soder. What? Yeah, Soder's in yeah. Hoboken with his with his significant other. And uh, yeah, they got a dog. I only react like that because me and Dan Soder were supposed to split a dog. This was well, our plan a couple years sorry, ago. Sorry, boo boo. He went behind uh, my back. Dan Soder, he found he found, yeah, uh, found just someone else to split a dog with. <laughs> First the HBO special, now this. God damn it. <laughs> Outrageous. What kind of breed did he get? Do you know? Um, I don't know. She's very pretty. I'll text you a picture. How about that? You were going to split an HBO special? It's easy to adopt dogs now, too, I bet. It's yeah, in I think New York. It's it a isn't. great thing. There's like it's no hard, more. Yeah. There's no more it's available because everybody's adopted. Yeah, everybody adopted. Which is great. Oh. Think of how much work you're going to have, Gary Veter, when this I is know. all over. My wife, like the business was shut down, but it's at, now it's starting back up uh, June really? 15th. Yeah, so so like, but a lot of people left the city, but she should be right. getting in like more like new people and stuff, like uh, new clients and stuff. But uh, yeah, other than that, it was but it was shut down completely. And like, what does she do? Uh, well, she has a dog walking company. So, oh. but a whole bunch of her employees left um, New York, and then there's still like half of them are still here, so that's good. But it's gonna take some time. But the fall should be better. Yeah. Fall's yeah. Better. Esty, you have a big wolf dog. You have, what do you have? is that? A husky? You guys have over there? Husky. He's a Pomeranian Pumsky. husky. Ah. A husky. He's not big at all. Yeah. Is that why they mix it to breed it a little smaller? I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> to create the fluffiest <laughs> dog of all time. But he does look, he looks more like a husky. Yeah. Pomeranian. <laughs> yes, you had a lot of disdain for that question. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's my little baby. Oh, oh there he is. Aww. Is that a lamb? Oh He's got his favorite sneaker. That's a uh, pit bull. Pit bull. Oh, uh, pit bull. Really? Uh, mm. uh, pit bull. I like pit bull. Bobby Slayton. <laughs> <laughs> pit bull comedy.
I got it. <laughs> Mark, I miss hanging with you. I miss going getting Chinese food out in Vegas. It's such I a know, fun time. Is, such a fun I, I really thought it was going to be like a week. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, it'll be nice if we get a week off on them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was like, eh, two weeks, three weeks, it'll be fine. And then, you know, three months oh, later. shit, I got to get to the MAGA rail. I'll be right back. <laughs> In your head, go, go. I, yeah, I never, I never really expected that. Uh, yeah, I really thought, I was like, seriously, like, two, you know what? I mean, the waitresses are, I'm sure that everybody, like, I mean, you guys don't I know it's people yeah. are just freaking out, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. My buddy owns a bar in the East Village, and he's you know really freaking out because uh, I find that the comedians no that the comedians yeah. that which makes sense, but comedians that work the least are the ones who are most or more vocal about trying to get back. You know, and it seems funny to me, kind of. In a yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Like I need to bomb right now. <laughs> Coco. Yes. <laughs> you need to bomb oh. right now. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be I'll be right over. You, you brought a real sassy Florida attitude I'm to tonight, Liz. Sorry, I can't help it. I miss Mark Cohen. I haven't seen him in so long. Did I'm I tell you my parents are from Florida? Are they really? What's their last name? I'll look them up. <laughs> Just find the Cohens in Florida. You'll have let, no me go on the, let me go on the balcony and yell really loud and see if they answer. Are you kidding me? Jesus. So, Fury, was- I know, I know you have to go soon. Yeah. You're doing what? What kind of show are you doing? It's just another show like, like a this. Zoom show, like a chat or like. Yeah, stand-up. I think it's a little bit. They actually sent us questions uh, prior oh to us joining. All right, what are the so, questions? Let's go. Uh, let's, well, how let's did you, how we did you spend your mem- How did you spend your Memorial Day? Was one. How did you spend your Memorial Day? Answer. I is went a over to. Show? Yeah, it's New York Comedy Club, <laughs> which uh, is my second favorite comedy club behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, obviously. obviously, I spent my Memorial Day on Greg Stone's porch drinking. Yes, and you FaceTime me in the pitch <laughs> in the yeah. pitch black. I got a FaceTime call. I'm in California and I like it's Fury and I, you know, I turn it on and all I see it's just a black screen. Just because they're they're outside. Black it's screens midnight. matter. Yeah, it's midnight <laughs> and they're like, Where are you? At one point they put a candle up to their face. It was it was um, talk to you. it was it was good hearing from them. We missed you. <laughs> Yeah, and Greg cool. and his wife have been my saviors. I live alone, so it's nice. You know, they've they've adopted me. I'm there. Andy, I'm impressed that you remember Memorial Day. I have no <laughs> idea what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looked three it years fun. ago. I know. It's crazy. And then the other another question was, uh, what's your favorite street joke of all time? Oh, good one. Um, good so one. I have one ready to go for that, if you would like me to tell you. It's an old nah, one. Nah, nah, all right. Nah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered. <laughs> Let me let me go get a pen and paper. (laughs) (laughs) And I forget the other one. I don't know. I didn't really prepare. So have you guys are all in the commune? Like, have you been? I know you've seen Stone Fury, but like, have the rest of you guys seen each other? What are you doing? I saw Joe List. That was it. I I saw List once. I me and Gary had a nice phone conversation a couple. Yeah, yeah. We talked for a little while. That's as far as I'll go with you. (laughs) <laughs> well i would be imagine i would take extra precaution with the pregnant wife you know yeah you yeah gotta be super careful i feel people are loosening up here so and it's and it's not that people are if you go around astoria there are places that are open obviously you can't like sit down at a restaurant yet but right. people are walking around and i'd say 90 percent of the people have masks on 90 you know, percent it's pretty there's a guy on some, yeah some some people are just rebels yeah, there's like, a guy on every like every street video. corner in the neighborhood who's yeah. like, no, it's fine. I don't need a, I don't need a mask. I'm smoking. It's yeah, like, right, right. So that's the kind of stuff that bothers me because they're doing it just like they don't care about anybody else except for right. themselves. Yeah. So that, yeah. that's like you know they're just being selfish. Ninety percent. Ninety percent seems pretty high. New York is yeah. hardcore, man. Yeah, it's it hardcore. really is. It's not. But like, it also got hit a lot harder too. Yeah, which is Absolutely. why it's currently very hardcore. I mean, yeah. here oh. on. The, in, here like i need i need a mask in the building but you know you go out on the street and if i walk the dog or get coffee i would say 40 percent of the people on the street are wearing masks 40 well, you've been exercising on a mask since i met hey, Liz, you better be really really <laughs> careful no i i am being you know all right i gotta run again you know and i've got the thank you all bye 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 fjords later
boy, what's wrong with that guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the people that are protesting now and marching, whatever, none of them have masks. All I can yeah. think of is that yeah. these people are setting themselves up for like, what's, yeah. you know, That's what they're I'm not saying. wearing masks, people, they're all on top of each other. People are going to go crazy for the next two weeks because they know it's going to happen again, you know, especially yeah. with all this stuff going on. Well, they had a protest and Memorial Day was the weekend before. So, yeah. And that's where everybody was, you know, congregating. And, and I don't remember the city that they had this big, big, huge pool, uh, pool party. The other. Guess yeah. what? They already uh, uh, identified somebody with the virus. Like yeah. one guy. Yeah, they said he, did, he already infested like 80 people or something. I'm sure. Yeah. But so I, mean, so I, I, I don't get I don't get the mentality. I know we are all very eager to get back to life. Yeah, but, but if it's two, two months, three months, wait another couple of weeks before yeah. you go all crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah. I wonder, Esty, if you could, if we could, like, set a camera, a, a TV up on stage and have the comedian like off to the side, and the audience could still watch the TV and it would still be kind of live, but you wouldn't have to be standing in front of them. No, you should stand in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> How about a different idea? Yeah. How about a different idea, Coco? Uh, I said, you know, too, uh, there's uh, that, the, yeah, whatever. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's why anything that's not actual stand up that, that changes a little bit, it just affects the show altogether. Yeah. I, did a, I did a show that where it was, even though it's like you're still in a room, but if the virus is going on and like it was right before, I think it was the same weekend that the NBA. Uh, so that all Cancel. games were suspended. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they started reducing all the crowds and it was on people's minds in right. the crowd. So it affects just the, the perception and like affects the jokes, just having that in the atmosphere. Right. Or if you can laugh as loud or people, you know, when you laugh, you kind of spit out stuff. And... Yeah. And like people weren't wearing masks then. I, but it's like, I think that the spitting yeah. out is not as prominent as you make it to be. But well, still, I mean, what have you not seen Coco? When you're on, oh, for me, yeah. But when you're on stage, I mean, how often? There are some people, uh, Liz, that we know that uh -huh. it's a concern. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not everybody but, spits, you know. But how about how everything also changed, just like the recommendations of, yo, you're uh, oh. supposed to wash your hands for 20 seconds. They never even mentioned washing your hands anymore. Now it's all about like the spit. Well, because, I mean, I hope that you are still washing yeah, your hands. I am. You're going to no, have a child in like yes. 10 days. Wash your damn hands, please. I'll, wash, I'll continue. Fine. I'll continue. Okay. Okay. But, thank you. <laughs> but, but yeah, but they stopped saying it. It was, that was the big thing in the beginning is like wash everything. Oh, and well, they just constantly change the precautions. Listen, they say the word Corona and it, so much it bounces off the ears. Nobody pays attention anymore. And now with the pro protest, now everybody's talking pro about the the, the the protest protests and the the, the the fires, there's fires everywhere, the break windows, looting of the store, and suddenly Corona is <coughs> third in line in the headlines. Yeah. yeah. Well, they get, you cannot, they get bored with you it. cannot forget about that. Because if you forgot forget the corona, it's gonna come back faster and stronger and gonna set us back yet. Stay diligent. You got to stay diligent. Stay on your shit. That's really what you have to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That, I mean, that, I, you said it before. It's like people want to go out. It's like, well, take two more weeks and then go out. And now you're going to screw it up, you know? Well, I mean, yeah. I feel like I feel like if you're going to go out and sort of keep these recommendations that people are giving, I know the CDC is now like, all right, well, if, if you have people that are in your family or your herd, whatever it is, 10 people, then just keep it at that and stay social distance and stay outside and you know wear a mask. Don't it's fly not like, around the globe. I'm not Stop. gonna go around the globe. I'm down in the yeah. East Coast now. Maybe Bermuda, but I could probably take a ferry there. No, I'm kidding. Aruba. I love it. I Absolutely Aruba. not. I Esti, I would not go to Aruba if my life depended on it. And that's only because of Aruba Ray. <laughs> Unless I could kill him there. I could Natalie Holloway his ass while I was there. That'd be the only reason to go. But yeah, I don't think so. Have you guys done any Zoom shows or any? Oh, hey, Mush. How are hey. you? Sorry, Good to see you. Hi. Mush hey. is back. 
Hey. Yeah, I did my fair. I did my fair share of Zoom shows. Did I'm like, really? I'm over. Yeah, I'm over it. I mean, it, I actually did one with Judy Gold the other day, and oh it's fine. God. But it's, I mean, it's just, I mean, she's hilarious. I love her. But it's, uh, but it was just something. You know, it's, it's not the same. You're doing stand up, or it's just, just like this. Well, you do. I mean, you start doing stand up, and then you just kind of like, I mean, you, you make fun of the situation too. So it's, it's like you, you don't want to tell your jokes. I mean, at times, if there's like you know, dead air and just to kill time, you do tell your jokes right. just to get through it. But uh, but for the most part, it's like, you know, you bounce around and, you know, try and have as much fun with it as possible. But, but uh, yeah, I mean, I was, the things I did, what, sorry. Yeah, the things I got, uh, I was doing was for, you were getting paid to do like your act. So that, right. that's what they wanted. So yeah. what do you do? I mean, are you, are, are you interacting yeah. with audience members or with other comedians? Like, how do you get out of just doing jokes? Like, what are you doing? Um, so in the beginning, they'll ask me questions, just oh, random okay. things like, oh, what was it like to be on America's Got Talent? And uh, America's Got Talent. And I'll kind of just like joke with that and then get into like the stand up portion. But, um, but there's no like, feedback, right? There's no live feedback for you. No, there is. They'll have oh. uh, people will be unmuted, but there a lot of the times they won't even have their video on. So it'll be a mix of some will have video and some will just be their audio. So right. you're just telling you're just telling jokes into a screen. Um, and it's just like, you're just going out there, but you're, you know, you're getting laughs, but you know, it's obviously, it's not, you know, an actual real, real crowd reaction. JP, have you done any, any zoom or, you know, whatever? I did a few different zoom shows. I actually emceed a, a roast that was on zoom and people have a pretty thick skin right now. Like they can yeah. <laughs> take a joke. Yeah. You know, nice. the who, ego who really you, dies. Who were they? Were you roasting another comedian or was it like a roast? Like what kind of roast? It was a, it was a bunch of comedians, but it was for Keith and the girl. It was like oh, okay. part of their, cool. uh, their anniversary week. And we were, they were like the guests of honor. Yeah. We were making fun of them. I was worried that the timing was going to be bad and the timing isn't perfect on a, on a Zoom right. show, but it turned out to be pretty good. And we ultimately had a pretty good time. I can hear. That's and have you done just like is that all you've done or have you been doing just like stand up as well? I did a similar. I did like another one that was like similar to a roast. I haven't done any like stand up. I feel like that would be too awkward. I don't know if I could just stand and oh, deliver my jokes. Yeah, it's like I'm already um, worried I'm, about getting no response in a real show. Like that's. Yeah. I'm curious to see now that things are opening again, that clubs around the country are opening, if how the whole Zoom uh virtual shows how that's going to play out like where that is going to evolve to and how it's going to sort of i mean is that going to continue out. yeah because i mean i mean the seller we're still getting inquiries about virtual shows and people still have virtual shows booked down the line but you know well people are also what, going I was thinking, on the road. what i was thinking and liz and SDU would obviously know more about this than i do but if you have like a sold out room would it be possible to like sell you set up a camera in the back of the room, you sell tickets to like an online Zoom audience that you, you have like overflow for the show. So even more people could watch. Would that be something that's like- I was actually positive? talking to someone about that today. Like that oh. was literally one of the one of the conversations that I was having with someone about- See, I should be running you, a club. That should you, be interesting. You know, <laughs> how, how, do you, how do we, you know, sort of, is it possible to do both? And then how, I mean, as comedians, the four of you, I'm counting you in there, Coco. How oh, okay. would you, <laughs> how would you feel if it was Sorry, like? I'm if I was... Check out. There's a special report of some demonstration and it's really violent. I want to see what's going it's on. New York City. It's in New York. All right, that's in New York. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll see you okay. later. We love you. We'll, okay, love you too, and nice seeing you. Oh, bye, 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 bye. She's going to the protest. <laughs> huh? It's going really, to be really violent. It's Bedford and Church. It's in, in Bedford in Church in Flatbush. Brooklyn. Oh my God. Esty's going to give him two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. <laughs> oh, I love how Esty's like, it's really violent. I have to go watch it right now. She's like enthralled. She's like, there's blood. Uh, but you know, I, I liked her. Gary was talking about something as a kid, and I see Esty. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 Why well, I love my kid, my baby. <laughs> we love Esty. <laughs> She's not here still, is she? 
she's she's gone. We won't tell her. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but we're recording this, right? But this is but yeah, such like, blackmail if, material right now. <laughs> if say like the seller was recorded and, and like some of it was on Zoom, yeah. yeah, I guess the only thing would be if that it was not people couldn't save your set somehow. That's oh, my question. Right. Like how how would you all feel? They about could, that? I mean, savvy people could do it. But. Yeah, I mean, it's as much as putting a phone up and recording I mean, like that, right? Well, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, the only thing could be where maybe it's something where it's like people are doing new, like a new jokes type thing, or something right. that could be right, catered right. where they don't, where where the comics don't care if it is recorded. Right. So you know, it doesn't have to be every show that's that's done that that way, but you know, maybe one, and people could purchase that. So an extra. I never even thought of. I mean, you could obviously make, uh, do it, make more money. Yeah, but if people are stealing stuff, yeah. Well, I mean, and it's, you know, it's almost, it's like burning your material in a lot of ways, you know, it's like you, yeah. you sort of want to just have it broadcast once and then get rid of it or, you know, it's like an I mean, Instagram also, live and then. depends how many people you're talking about that are watching it. It's 50 people or a hundred. Still, yeah. still, you know. And it, all you it, need it, is one guy to sell it or. Yeah, or put it on YouTube or Instagram or, or whatever, you know. Yeah. Especially with your material, Vita, we know how. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't want anything to be taken out of context. Vita, Massachusetts. Yeah. Vita, yeah. Bush, you're doing a show, right? Are you doing a show this weekend? Uh, next with weekend. Je next weekend with Jeff yeah. Dye. Right. Oh, right. where? Is that, that's in Utah? Uh, San Antonio. Where? Oh, San okay. Antonio, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our, nice. And that club is open now, right? Uh, yeah, all three of the Texas clubs. And they're at 100% capacity? No, no, they're not. They're at like 50, but they they don't sell tickets. They sell tables. Oh, that makes sense. I guess. What do you mean they sell tables? So, like so you, groups, you know the group, right? And then they could sit at that table. That makes sense. So, so then you can fill up the, the that's a way to fill up the, the room. That's actually a great idea. As yeah, long as bachelorette parties are going to comedy shows, I'm happy. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all we want. Yeah. It's like maximum it's all bachelorette five, parties. Things like that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so it's like, instead of buying like, if it's just your two people, you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna get this table. And even if it's a table for six, then you- If that's all that's left, yeah. But it, like, if you go by yourself, you gotta buy the table, even though it's only- Wow. Know, that makes oh. sense though. That's a good, that's a good way to mm. Vegas. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and especially in Vegas, yeah. Somebody wants to impress somebody like, yeah. oh, I got a private you know. VIP table. There You'll you get people in Vegas audience because the locals will go. They they just go. They're they're out. You know. Have I you been out, Coco? Like, have you been out and about now that things are slowly? I go. I've been now? going out like to the stores and stuff like that the whole time. But uh, have you been down on the strip? No. Especially they are doing. There are protests. Last night was a fairly some protests there too. Last night. But before that, I mean, I I read that people were like bike riding and. Yeah, I, I had no. You know, no, I should have yeah. maybe. Well, you missed that opportunity. I could have went and saw the empire. <laughs> he was meeting his drug dealer. Oh, <laughs> you don't meet them in front of the, the Mirage? Come on. Why, is, yeah. is there a dispensary down there? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I give directions now. Here, you go up to the dispensary on the left and then take a right, two dispensaries to the right. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. Everywhere. I miss that. Not in Florida, right? No, in Florida. No, not in Florida. Well, not, uh, not that I found yet. So if anyone out there listening in Miami wants to email me, <laughs> please go ahead and let me know. But, you know, not that I'm soliciting illegal it's a, it's, information. It's been 110 here like the last two days too. But. Yeah, but you know I love that. That's like my favorite. I tell you, it's really, it's funny because me and my daughter are in the pool today and we're mm. art sticking out. It's 105 and you go, ooh, it's kind of chilly. With the, with the wind. <laughs> with the wind. <laughs> with the wind, it gets to 90 miles. Yeah, it was it was lovely in Sacramento. It's like it's very Miami summer here. I'm I'm feel I love it. So we're we're getting to that point in New York where it's like 80, but it feels like 140. Yeah. yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. But you know, maybe it won't be as bad this summer with, you know, half the half the people on the street and not as many subway yeah. cars and all that. And all maybe that we stopped stuff. climate change. Who knows? <laughs> we did it we're heroes we really are <laughs> right we are but i don't know so what else mush what else is going on i haven't actually seen you in a while mush yeah how long has it been like three months yeah i think i saw you the day before you left yeah 
Jesus. Yeah, and you've been down Texas. there the whole time. Yeah. Where living, are you? Living in, in Antonio a in a basement, house with my evidently. Yeah. Oh, you're in Texas right now. Yeah. He's in his uh, wife's ex house or your ex wife's ex-house. house. Yeah. Yeah. Your ex wife. Yeah, yeah. Was it ever your house? No. I mean, no, uh, it's no. where she lives. And I'm staying here. She's do- yeah. So she's she's doing better. She's doing better uh, with you or without you. Uh, about the same. Oh, that's always good. Yeah. That's she good. put you, you in the basement. Easy. Is that where? Are you in the? Where are you? We Why don't have basements in Texas. That's in a side room. I don't know. With all her, with all her garbage and <laughs> her dead closet. bodies, apparently. <laughs> wow. Actually, it's just the room where all my old stuff is that I haven't taken or gotten rid of yet. So that's why she put you in that room. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's also where the dog sleeps. So fair. Are you sleeping in there too, or, or what's up with that? Uh, no, I sleep on a couch. What up with that? Yeah. <laughs> so mush. Let's let's get to the bottom of this right now because we're coming up on an hour. Let's okay. get to the bottom of this mush. Everybody, you're the producer of the show, and I know you're working very hard, and you're doing like eight million Zoom shows a day. But tell us. <laughs> What's up with you and the ex-wife? You? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not at all. Don't lie, <laughs> Mush. Don't fucking lie to me. I'm not lying. Lie. <laughs> Nothing. She, not at she all. She was not mad at me right now. She came out and said it herself. So. Why is she mad at you? Probably because Mike Calta asked her that also earlier. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's it's an honest question. I feel like we all we all want to know. I, I know. Are you sure, Mush? Yeah, I'm sure. None of the other <laughs> guests got that question about their dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not their ex dog, so right. There's there, a dynamic. Maybe. Hey, maybe you've been there for three months, Mush, mm-hmm. in a pandemic, where like you're not seeing anyone else. All you're doing is sitting at, and you're telling me nothing at all. Nothing. That's never going to happen again between us. I mean, women aren't shaving right now. There's, you know what I mean. There's like I less risk have. of things I, I got happen. a manscape package from <laughs> as a sponsor, <laughs> and I got so bored that I used it. So. Okay, no, they got no, nice neat lines. It looks good. <laughs> That's too much information for me. <laughs> On that note, I think let's let's call it a night because right. I I need to drink now to you're, get that you're, out of my head. Blessing. They say they want personal experience. So. Uh, I never want to know about that personal experience for you. Much. Well, I'll talk about my legs, but okay. I don't so. stop. <laughs> no. oh my God. All right, so I would just thank you all for for coming in and it was good tonight. seeing you, Liz. Do you guys have anything to plug yeah. before you go, Coco? What what do you what do you got going on other than uh, crocheting? And I think you should have an Etsy store at this point. Why um, you don't? I'm, I don't know. What have you I'm made? I'm making my daughter a top. Ooh, lovely. I'm, uh, tonight I'm going to crochet uh, with the uh, vagina hair while I watch. <laughs> <laughs> so people don't think I'm fruity. <laughs> Perfect. That offended like 17 people in there. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> JP, what, where can people find you? What do you have going on? I'm on Twitter at JP underscore McDade, M C D A D E. Um, that's pretty much the only place I exist right now. Who knows what's going to happen with comedy, but check me out. It's coming. It's coming, guys. I promise. <laughs> Gary Beater, having a baby before we know it. Come on. Where can people yes. find you and hear you and all that stuff? So find me at my website, GaryBeater.com. And you can also buy my album there. Buy it for me. Buy it for my baby. Buy it for the baby. Yeah, Beater Las Vegas. uh, Available on iTunes and wherever you stream music. It's excellent, by the way. It is. We were, we were, Coco and I were there for it. We know all about it. Good times. The jokes still work. Even when you're not in town. (laughs) Even when Coco is telling them. (laughs) Yeah. If I if I do your jokes, but I put them to guitar, they're my jokes. Right? Mm. <laughs> I like uh, you can follow me at Mike Peace Warriors on Instagram. Uh, you can hear me on History Ienas with Chris DeStefano, Giannis Papas, and Colton Kelly with uh, Robert Kelly and Mike Kelta. Um, and if you're in San Antonio next weekend, where I are you going to be? Uh, laugh out loud with Jeff Die. There you go. So if wow. you're in San Antonio. Go, go see Mush. And then thank you all for watching this every night. You guys, honestly, like the people that watch this, you guys are the best. And I hope you all are staying safe and washing your hands. All right, everybody. We'll see you on Monday.